Hello, good evening. Hello, good Hello. evening. How are you today? Fine. Okay, uh, good. Fine. Yes, testing the sound. Everything is okay? You can hear me? Yes. All right, good. Excellent. All right, Jorge, how are you today? I I fine because uh, I get a beautiful day in my work. Okay. And it was very funny too. Okay, that's good. Okay. When you have fun, you don't work. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, because you, en you, en you enjoy your job. You enjoy. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, good. Excellent. How about you, Liz? Everything well. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, no problem? Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> with the clients, with the boss, no problem. Everything is it's good. <laughs> okay, that's excellent. It's a um, normal day. <laughs> normal. Okay, a typical day. Typical day. <laughs> okay, very good. How about you, Carlos? Hey, it's a nice day. Okay. It's a day, a day normal, a normal day. Yeah, okay. yeah uh, I had to go to a supermarket, uh, almost, almost uh, be late here. <laughs> okay. But, okay. On time. But, you, but, you came on, but you came on time, okay? Now you're yeah. here. Okay, good. Roxana? Hello, Roxana. Hello. Hello. How are you, Roxana? Everything is fine? I'm fine. Okay, great. Excellent. Yes. Okay, Vanessa is here too. Okay. Then, who else? Hi, Vanessa. Everything okay? Yes, everything okay. Okay, good. Okay, William? Hi, teacher. Okay. Everything okay? Everything okay. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's see. Today we have, uh, as I told you, a listening exercise, right? Then uh, I think that you have it in your platform too, so that you can answer uh, while you are listening. Okay. Let me see. Oh. Good. Just try to keep uh, everything in silence so that we can. Okay, good. Here. All right, now uh, Liz, can you do me a favor and read this uh, objective, please? Okay, um, in this session, participants will develop listen skills for specific information. Okay, okay, now see how important it is, okay, to pay attention to instructions, right? In this part, in this session, participants will develop listening develop. skills for a specific information, right? So then, uh, sometime uh, you 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 to try to pay attention to everything, okay? But when you're paying attention to everything in the listening, then what happens is that you probably don't understand the principle, okay? The the main information. That you need okay that's why it's specific information so don't worry if you don't get everything right the important thing is that you get the information requested in the exercise okay look at the next one and now a uh, jorge can you please read these instructions okay instruction listen to four to four people talk to a pharmacist a pharmacist shows one each person problems okay so then you're gonna listen to four people they are talking to a pharmacist a person in the drugstore or pharmacy and then you have to pay attention to the person's problem that is the specific information okay the problem okay 
Now look at the choices that you have, the options. Okay, the option. Okay, good. Now in the option number one, you have the men's feet are a store. Okay. The, the men's feet are itchy. Sorry. Itchy. The first one is the men's feet are sore. Are sore. Okay. Sore, not sore. I made a mistake. The men's feet are sore. Mm -hmm. The men's feet are itchy. Okay. The woman, the woman can't eat. The woman has an upset stomach. Okay, the man has difficulty sleeping. And the man is sleeping too much. The woman burned her hand. Oh, the woman has a bad sunburn. Questions about this vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what that mean, each. It's, for example, okay, is when you have something like this, right? Mm. Then itchy, right? So then uh, that you have a problem with uh, mosquitoes or, or if you have probably uh, another kind of uh, infection, right? Okay. okay so it's, a little, it, it, it's a little more than sore? No, itchy is, for example, that something like, you know, like, yeah, you just have to scratch. Ah, okay. Okay. But okay. if you have, and sore is a pain. It's a pain. Huh? Ah, it's a pain for, I can't speak. Oh, oh, okay. Sore throat. I mean, I have a sore throat. Okay, okay. I have a pain, ache here. Like a headache, right? So you have a sore in your head. Okay. All right? Good. Any other question? Yes, Vanessa? No? How about upset? Upset, okay. The woman has a, an, a, an upset stomach, okay? This is, for example, when you have a, a lot of uh, strange things in your stomach that you don't know exactly what happens, right? Oh, okay. There is a sensation of pain, uh, uh, for example, that you feel anxious, okay? That you feel uh, something strange in your body, but you don't know exactly, right? This happens okay. sometimes when we, when we eat uh, food that is uh, expired, okay? So then you feel okay. these strange, strange sensations in your stomach, okay? So it's upset. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, now, let's see, after, you know, you're just going to click. You have, this, you have access to this in your platform? Yes? Tienen acceso a este ejercicio in your platform? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Yeah. Now listen. Let me see if we can share it from here. Let's check. Here we go. The pharmacist. Check. Talk to the pharmacist. Check. Okay, is the sound okay? Can you hear? No. No? No. No? No, no. No. Can I help you? Wait a minute. Yes, I'd like something. More or less. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very Better. Listen to four people. No? Yes. Better. Okay. Good. Talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me, I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. 
Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay, good. Now, listen again. Okay, now you are familiarized with the, with the conversations. Now listen again, and after I give you some time to answer. Okay? Now listen again. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Okay, what is the man's problem? The man's feet are sore. Okay, the man's feet are sore, okay? Yes, that's correct. Two. Excuse me, I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Okay, how about this one? For a few five days and, and this time after each meal. Okay, but what is the problem that she has? Stomach ache. The woman has stomach an ulcer in the stomach. Ah, stomach, stomach ache. Right? I said stomach. Yes, yes. Stomach, stomach. stomach ache. Mm -hmm. Or the woman has an upset stomach, right? Mm -hmm. stomach. Okay, very good. The third one. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Okay. How about number three? What is the man's problem? He can sleep. Right, he says he that, uh -huh. the mm -hmm. man said that he has trouble, Difficult. no difficulty, uh -huh. sleeping. Yeah. Difficult. Sleeping. Okay, that's correct, okay? And the number four. Four. Good morning, what can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay, what was number four? Her in hands. Her hand. Burn her hand. Burn her hand. Okay, the woman burn 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 her hand. Burn her hand. Burn her hand. Burn her hand. <laughs> Burn her hand. That's right. Okay, good. Then let's see, uh, William. What was the number one? Uh, excuse me. The number one. Huh? What was the number one? No the men's feet are sore or the men's feet are itchy? The men's 
The math is Arsor. Arsor, okay, so that was the number one. Arsor. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, Evelyn, what was number two? The woman can't eat or the woman has an upset stomach? The woman has an upset stomach. An upset, okay, and upset, upset, upset stomach. Good. Roxana, uh, sorry, uh, Sonia, about number three. The the hair in hair fish. The number three. Um, hair fish. The man. The the man had hair. Fish. Or fish. The the man has. <laughs> the the man has. The difficulty. <laughs> the, Maybe. Difficulty sleeping, right? Uh, the, man sleep. has sleeping. Yes. the man has difficulty the sleeping. The man has sleeping. Difficulty sleeping. So he has problems to sleep. Okay, good. And Gio, how about number four? Yeah. Gio, number four. What was the correct answer? Mm, I don't have the platform, but I was remember. Okay, Kenny. It was the... Hey, Gio, ah. may I help you? <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the woman, uh, probably the last night, she cooking everything. Uh -huh, yes, <laughs> she burned her hand cooking. Hey, yeah. that, 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 was, that, that was a good help for it, right? Good, good help. Yeah. yeah. Okay, burn her hand. Thanks, okay. thanks, George. Let, <laughs> let's see, submit. Okay, guys, we have. Okay, good. Okay, a big, a big hand for you guys. Okay, you did a good job. Excellent. Okay, so you have the correct answers. That was it. But you see, the important thing of this exercise was that you have to recognize the specific information, right? So here, the information was not all the conversation, but also all uh, just uh, the problem that they had okay and why they were uh, visiting the pharmacy okay good then now we're going to start with uh, section three okay here we have this one and um, vanessa can you do me can you do me a favor and read this objective here? In the screen or where? Yes, in the screen it says in this session. Uh, I can't see. You can't see it? Uh, I only watch a reproductor multimedia. Okay, wait a minute. Now, wait me. No, wait. Now you can. Now we have this one. Then, and we'll fix the problem in a minute. Okay, can you see now? Yes, okay. Here in this section, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner were such as so two neither and either very good excellent right so do you and remember the... will we introduce it uh-huh exactly right so then do you remember any any of this information so two neither and either when do we use it when we agree or when we disagree, okay? Disagree. Uh -huh. When we agree or disagree. Okay, now listen to this conversation. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. 
Please copy the following words in your notes. No problem with the, with the sound? No, okay. No. So, no. It's okay. Okay, follow the, follow the instructions. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Okay, so, to, neither, and either. Pay attention to those words. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroma. Oh, I wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend. What? I do too. And I know a nice Jap Okay, we're going to work in pairs to practice the, the conversation, but before, um, let's see the, the pronunciation, if, uh, if you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation, right? I'm going to read it, okay? I am going to read it. Only listen. After a second time, you will repeat, but the first time, only listen, okay? Mm -hmm. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Questions about vocabulary? No? Okay, good. Then re repeat. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Sure. sure. Where do you want to go? Want to go? Oh. Well, what do you think of Indian food? Well, well, the thing that I love it. 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 But I'm not really in the mood for it today. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess. I guess. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Mm, how do you like how do you Japanese, like Japanese, Japanese food? 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 Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, oh I, I like, it a, lot. like it a lot. I do too. I do too. I do too. I do too. And I know a Japanese restaurant near here. And I know a Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, now 
Now you're gonna work in pairs. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are, okay, here. Okay, now you have your indications. Okay, Roxana. All right. How about you, Gio? Laura? Laura? Can you start? Yes. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want? Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit. It's spicy. Spicy. Um, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I always in the... Okay. I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I have all. all no, he, no, here in the, this moment is a problem. Mm, you have poor connection. Yes. Is yeah. is uh, no not here. Can you can you hear everything? Clear. Yes, but the geo not clear here. Oh. Okay, now repeat repeat your sentence. Repeat the part. Okay. Me? I have all no. Say, it. would you like? Oh, uh huh. Okay, go ahead. Okay, say, would you like to go to out? Uh, to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a by spice. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food?
Now we don't hear, yes. No, no here. No. Ah. Complete the sentence. Ah. You don't hear? I repeat it. Oh. Yes. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Okay, no here clear. Oh, I like, I love it. Love. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I do. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iraha. Do you hear it? Hi. In the end, she always says, <laughs> okay. Huh? Always at the end, she loses connection. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now she's back. Evelyn? Okay. Okay. All right. The last part. I've always... Uh, she lost. Okay. Oh, I okay. always wanted to go here. Okay. Yo tampoco. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Yo no tampoco. tampoco. Porque el otro uh -huh. dice que no está como de humor para ir a la comida. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Comida okay. india. Yeah, yo tampoco. Como que... Okay. Mm -hmm. that's it. The difference of either and neither? It's the same. It's the same, mm. Negative, but look at the, only the use. It says, I am not, I am not either, mm -hmm. or in the, in the other case you say, neither, neither am I. Okay, it's the, the position of the words, okay? Now, we will see that in after this, after this conversation, after this exercise, I will explain that, okay? But it's similar, okay? okay? It's similar, but different form to use it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, continue practicing. Teacher, teacher. Y yes. Tengo, tengo otra pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿En, qué moment, ¿En qué momento usamos I do o me too? Ok. Eh, me too, you can use it all the time, right? For example, do you like pizza? Me too. Do you, no, do you like pizza? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, yes, I do. Ok, and then I say... I do too. Okay, I do too, or me too. Correct? Okay, uh, for example, uh, are you, for example, uh, let's say, are you happy? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. I do. Yes. yes, I am. Yes, I am. Then you say, I am yes, too. I am. I am too. Or, me too. Me too. Okay, me too, you mm -hmm. como un comodín, right? For everything. Mm -hmm. You say, uh, I, I do too, me too, is when you use depending on the sentence y el tiempo gramatical. For example, uh, I went to the movies yesterday. I mm -hmm. did too. Okay. Xiomara, so, tell me something that you did yesterday. Yesterday, I work all day. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I work it. So did I. Okay, did because it's past tense, correct? Uh, uh -huh. Ah, yeah. I did work all uh -huh. day. I did. Okay. No, in my case. No, your, your sentence is okay. Mm, ah, okay. Repeat the sentence. I worked all day. I worked all day yesterday, right? Then I say, I did too. Ah, uh, okay. Me too. Okay, I did too. I, I always heard me too, mm -hmm. only. Ah, me yeah. too. Yeah, me too, me too. But remember, me too lo ocupan ya los nativos porque se sabe que lo utilizan bien todo esto, right? But in our mm -hmm. case, to practice, we need to use the verb. En una entrevista de trabajo, si yo le entrevisto y le digo, uh, I went to work yesterday. He said, me too. Mm, I don't know si usted sabe usar las 
las tiempos gramaticales, right? Okay, for example. En los casos, I do too. Ajá, uh -huh, and it's more formal, right? For example, mm. uh, I, if I tell you, okay, I like, I like football, and they say, mm, I do too. Uh, I don't smoke, and they say, neither do I. Okay? And that mm -hmm. case, agree in negative, all right? So that's why it's important right. to use them. Okay, good. Okay. We'll continue after, right? Let me see this. Oh, I always want to go there. Terrific, let's go. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Questions? Fine. Uh, how do you pronounce it's called Iroha? Iroha? Iroha o Iroha. Yes, you can use both. Ah, but teacher, uh, yes. when the name is French or, um, I don't know, Spanish, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it always pronounce in English or... Most of the time, yes. Unless you know the word, for example, let me see, uh, there's one, let's say, le café, for example, in ah. French. But if in English it says le café, you say le café in English too. Ah. Okay. Ah, okay. Probably okay. not with the accent or with the with the French pronunciation, right? But mm -hmm. but you read it in English, right? If you say, for example, uh, if you if you uh, if you are speaking English, say I went to La Pampa, right? Because that's mm -hmm. La Pampa Argentina. You said it in Spanish because it's a proper, sí. proper mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Y, y for example, the lote. <laughs> Uh -huh, it's exactly the lote, lote uh -huh, not the corn. <laughs> uh -huh, because if you, say, <laughs> if you say the corn, people will understand. Okay, say the lote. Yes. Uh -huh, then you know that the is the place, right? The lote. Ah, okay. Okay, Thank that's you, the name. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go back to the classroom. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is everybody back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, we now have nine people. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the next one. Now we have a Liz, can you please read this objective here? Okay, in this class, participants will understand the use of some, to, neither, and either. With these words, participants uh, may express agreement and or disagreement. And or disagreement, right? This is if you agree or if you disagree with the with the speaker, right? Now we have the example here. Okay, here we go. Go to neither, either, and more example. Neither, either. So do I. I don't like it very much. No, here. Here. Okay. No se escucha bien, teacher. Can eat really spicy food. 
So can I. Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use. Can you hear now? No. Teach. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Now, yes. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. Okay. Now, if you see here, I want you to pay attention that they are using here the verb, the, the verb to be. Okay? I am. You can use any other verb. I love, I eat, I work, I study, I run, I play, I sleep, I drive. In present. Present. Okay? Verb to be present, any other verb in present, okay? And then you can say, I am hungry, I am too. So am I. I am too, and so am I, is the same meaning. Lo mismo, different form, okay? You can say, I am too, so am I. The difference, I am too at the end of the sentence. So at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Then, I love apple pie, I do too. I, um, I read books in English, I do too. I speak Spanish, I do too. Uh, I work every day, I do too, okay? I, uh, I sleep, uh, every night, so do I, I do too, got it? Okay, change verbs, and you say I do too, or so do I. Okay, then we have can, modal auxiliary, remember? I can play chess, I can too, so can I. I can uh, run 10 kilometers. I can too, I guess, yes, of course I can, I can, believe it or not. Okay, so can I. Uh, say I can, uh, let's say I can play, no, I can, uh, let me see, I can drive, no, I can fly, I can fly a helicopter. I can fly a helicopter, I can too, so can I, okay. I can swim, I can too, so can I, okay? Now, listen. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow. Okay, the position of two is at the end. Me. Subject, auxiliary, two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary, so, the subject. The subject. 
Now let's study the use of neither and either. Okay, those were, you know, like when you agree in something in a positive way, right? The first, the first sentence is positive, it's affirmative, okay? For example, um, I can, I can, uh, I can swim every morning. Okay, I can swim every day. Okay, so can I. Affirmative, affirmative. In this case, it's negative. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb for the true answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. Okay, negative. I am not hungry. Then you agree. I am neither. Okay, yo tampoco. So we have the same, the same sensation, not hungry, but in negative. Or you can say, neither am I. The meaning is the same, okay? I don't dance salsa. I don't either. I don't dance reggaeton. I don't either, okay? Then neither do I. I can't. Uh, question. I can. Yes. Uh, which one is the, mo the most used in the United States? Okay. They were actually the the most. I mean, the most common. Uh, depending depending on the context, depending depending on where you are. In the informal environment, in the street, friends is me too. Okay, me too. But if you are going to use this one, is uh, neither am I. The two of them are commonly used. I don't either. Okay. okay. But the most most common will be me too. If it is an informal environment. Okay. Thank you. With formal, this too. Either, neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Okay, subject, I don't either. He doesn't either. He doesn't either. Okay. Uh, the other one is neither do I. He said the auxiliary is positive. Here's the auxiliary is negative. You say, I don't either, neither do I. Okay, I am. I am not either, neither am I. Notice, either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice, neither goes at the beginning. At the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. Okay, I like ice cream. And what is your response? I like ice cream. I do too. So, so, do, I. so, so do I. So do I. Uh -huh. So do I. I am happy. I am happy. So am I. I. Do too. So, say, I so am I. I am. And say I am too. No problem. I am too. I am too. I, do too. I love pizza. I love pizza. I do too. I do too. So do I. So do I. I can't swim. I don't like French. I can't swim. Neither I. Uh -huh. Neither do I. Neither, neither can I. I can't swim. Neither can I. I can't. I can't. Neither. Okay, remember we have. Am, do, and can. I am hungry. I am hungry. I, do too. I am too. I am uh, too. I love pizza. 
I do too. I do, I do too. too. I can't swim. I can. I can too. And so can I. Or so can I if it is affirmative. Okay. I can swim. So can I. And I don't like French. <laughs> I don't like French. Neither. Um, neither do I. Or I don't either. Okay. I will show you some other examples so that you can have extra extra information. Okay, can you see this one? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, here's another example, right? Amy is a twin, bird to be, and so too. Okay. Then you have a uh, Amy is a twin and Sue so is two. Amy isn't very tall and neither is Sue. Amy is not very tall and Sue so is neither. Okay. Then you have the verb except do. This is with Ken. Amy can swim, and so can Sue. Vanessa, can you swim? Yes. Okay. Uh, I can do. Oh, I can. And William, can you swim? No, I I can't. <laughs> you can't. Okay. Um, Carlos, can you swim? Yeah, I can. Okay. Then you can say Carlos can swim, and so can Vanessa. Carlos can swim and so and Vanessa can too. Okay? okay. Got it. Then I don't have to repeat the same information. Uh, Carlos can swim and Vanessa can swim. No. Carlos can swim and so can Vanessa. Carlos can swim and Vanessa can too. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is a okay. practical, a practical form to use it in the real life. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Fine. Then the other one is using do. Amy likes. It says Amy likes a uh, oh. box, and so does Sue. Okay. Dogs. Okay. For example, uh, I say the. Uh, Moises, Moises, do you like dog? Yeah, only yes or no. Do you like dogs? Yes, I like. Yes, I do. do. Right? Yes, I do. Right. And Jesenia, do you like dogs? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so we can say here, uh, Moises likes dog, and. So does Jesenia. Moises likes dog and Jesenia does too. You get it? Mm -hmm. okay. This is the yeah. real life. Okay. okay. Liz, uh, do, yes. you, do, you, uh, let's say, do you like salads? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. William, do you like salads? 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 Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, then Liz mm -hmm. likes salads and so does William. Okay? okay. Uh, Liz likes salads and William does too. Okay, and then you have the negative form. Okay, Amy doesn't uh, like cats and neither does Sue. Okay, for example, let me see Vanessa. Do you like snakes? Uh, I don't like, wait me, neither do I. Okay, so you don't like snakes, okay, good. No. Uh, let me see, uh, Yesenia, do you like snakes? <coughs> no. <laughs> no, no, uh, neither do I. Okay, I, neither do I. Neither, neither do, I. do I. Very good. Okay, then we can say Vanessa, doesn't like a snake, 
en liter das diseña. Vanessa doesn't like snakes and Yesenia doesn't either. Okay. Liz, do you like snakes? No, I don't like. <laughs> you don't like snakes. They are beautiful. <laughs> they say I don't I don't they say I don't either, right? I don't either. Gio, do you like I snakes? I don't either. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah, yes, I yes. do. Marcela, do you like snakes? Yes, I do. Wow, this is a brave <laughs> woman. Brave woman. <laughs> Jorge, do you like snakes? No, I don't like. Wow, oh, come on. You have to say. <laughs> I, I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. Okay, good. You have to be a macho man. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, on, it's only a joke, okay? No macho man. Okay, good. Okay, that's boring. Yes, Sonia. Do you like snakes? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. And Samara, how about you? I don't either. I don't either. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is when you agree. But if you see, for example, just... with the first person, with the first person, if I say, um, let's see, Marcela, do you like, uh, let me see, do you like mangoes? Yes, I love it. <laughs> yes, I, okay, only that, only that. Okay? Yes, I love it. Okay, I love, I love mango. Okay, Marcela would say I love it. Okay, but then if I say Yesenia, in you? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do too. I do too. Okay, and Carlos, how about you? I do too. <laughs> I do too. Remember that the question is mangoes, right? If you like mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moises, how about you? Yes, I do too mangoes. Okay, I do I too. Okay. I guess. Or so do I, right? I do too. So do I. Or so do I. Correct. Okay. Ah, okay. Sonia? Yes, I I saw I saw mango. I saw I, do I saw do mango. So do I. So do I. So, so do, do I. I. So okay. do I. Only. Three words. So do I. So okay. so do I. I. Only. So do I mango. No, no mango. So do oh, I. Okay. So do I. You don't need to repeat it. Okay. Xiomara? Uh, so do I. So do I. So do I. Mangoes. Good, good, good. And Evelyn? Yes. Do you yes. like mangoes? Do you like mangoes? Yes, I like. Okay, then Evelyn will start again. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Laura? Laura, I do too. So do I. She's not there. Okay, so you do. Do you? Oh, so. Yes, Laura. So do. I. So do I. So do I. Very, very green good. mango. So do I. I love green mango. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with okay with with lemon, aluaste, right? With lemon. Yes, I like. I love it. Okay. Yes, and spice. and spice, spicy. Okay, good. Then uh, we have here some additions. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. And for example, if your sentence is negative and my opinion is affirmative, you can unit. Uh, or okay, tell me a sentence. So, tell, tell me something, and I'll give you an example. For example, if you like snakes and uh, no, say, ask me the question. Uh, for example, uh, tell me the sentence. Tell me the sentence. Uh, I don't like snakes. But I do. You got it? I don't but, like yes. Uh -huh. I, I don't yeah. like snakes. Pero uh -huh. a mí, pero a mí sí, but I do. But I do. Ah, okay, uh -huh. okay. You got it? I understand. It's the opposite. Yes. Okay. You say yes. Say, say another sentence. Um I like uh cheesecake. Okay, this is affirmative, right? I like cheesecake, yes. but I don't. Yes? Pero a mí no. 
but I don't. You say, for example, I don't like snakes, but I do. I like mm -hmm. cheesecake. I like cheesecake, but okay. I don't. This is when the opinion is different, right? Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. But in the other cases, you agree in affirmative, in negative. That is the class. But if your opinion is different, you use but. Okay. E can can yeah. I use? Sorry. <laughs> can no. I use however at the end of the sentences? Uh, yes, but that would be something different. Okay. okay. For example, I'll, I'll say that. Um, I like, uh, for example, suppose you said, uh, I don't, I don't like the snakes. Well, I love them, however. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could use it, right? But any other question? Uh, la diferencia entre neither and either or? Only, only the use. For example, the use, when you say either, look at, look at the, mm -hmm. look at the mouse. Mm -hmm. When you say either, you use negative, didn't. Didn't. And, and it's at the end. Mark didn't uh, either. And when you use uh -huh. neither, it's at the beginning, and the auxiliary verb is affirmative. That is the difference. But the, and the significado is the same. Neither did Mark, tampoco Mark. Mark didn't either, tampoco Mark. Okay, only okay. neither, affirmative did, didn't, either. Okay? Okay. Good. Well, practice it, and if you have any, well, this is the conversation, we did it, and that's it. Okay, people, I don't know if you have any other question for today. No. 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 Not, not in this moment. No, not this moment. Okay, this is then for tomorrow we have. Well, don't forget the the knowledge check. No. Right, respond. Uh, the, uh, Leyeron el mensaje que le mandaron en WhatsApp ahora, ¿verdad? Yes. Hay que leerlos y hay que, cualquier duda me avisan o cualquier cosa que yo les pueda ayudar con gusto. Okay. Okay, instruction, okay. write responses to show agreement with this sentence. For example, I am not crazy about French food. Then you have to, you have to write here, neither, neither am I, because remember that you have to pay attention to the verb. Uh-huh, neither am I, okay? Neither am I. Neither am I or? I am not either. I am not no. either. You can no. use, uh -huh, and that's what it says, right responses to show agreement with this statement. Agreement, right? And then I can, this is with can. When you say think, it's going to be do, do. Can, can. negative, can. negative. Don't. Don't. This is with a verb do in negative. I am, verb to be. I am. I am. Bird to be, I don't, the bird do, negative. Neither. Uh, I, error. I always, uh -huh. okay. I always eat, is do, right? Uh -huh. And I can. All right? Okay. Okay, and tomorrow we're going to study with pronunciation, noticing stress, okay? And with neither and neither. Okay, everybody. Okay. So, okay. A, Thank you. Have a very good night. Okay. Have sweet dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Apaga eso ya, Diego.